Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to another brand new video on the channel. Today everyone, I'm going to be showing you all how you guys can save your game using Roblox data stores in Roblox Studio. This video was requested by Bug07, and if you guys want to see me do a Roblox Studio tutorial, uh, then please leave it down in the comment section below and I might get to you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Summer. First thing you guys want to do is you guys want to uh, you guys want to make a currency in your game. Okay, this can be cash, coins, or whatever, or rebirths, or it can literally be anything. All right, so it just has to be a currency in your game. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna make a quick script for currency real quick. So year stats, and I'm gonna do game dot. Right, I just made a quick little script right here to basically give the player currency. So when you join the game, as you guys can see, we have zero cash. We have cash as currency. All right, so that's our currency in the game. Now we have to make a way to give, give cash. And I'm gonna make a, another. Vi I'm gonna make another video on how to give like currency in your game. So yeah, but I'm just, I'm just gonna do this real quick, and I'm gonna time lapse this video, or maybe just cut to it. So yeah. Okay, everyone, so I just made a quick little, um, I, I just made a tool, so when you click on this cash giver thing right here, it'll give you 100 cash, alright, and it should work on the server as well. Yeah, okay, so we have 700 cash, and if we just keep on clicking, we get more cash. So, basically, uh, that's just our little cash giver right here, alright? Now, when we join back, though, it doesn't save, and that is a problem because we need our data to save, and that's what this video is for. We're making a data store. So, everyone, for the part you've all been waiting for, I'm sorry about that, guys, but the, far, the part you've all been waiting for, the data store, all right? So, to make a data store, first, we need to insert another script into the server script service, and we need to rename this script to data store. All right, and we are going to remove everything in this script, so it's a blank script. Just remove the print. Hello world. We're gonna do. We're gonna type in local ds equals game colon get service data store service colon get data store, and we're just gonna name this cash data um fifty. All right, it's just a random number fifty. All right, and now we're gonna go down two lines, and we're gonna do game dot players dot player added colon connect function uh pl plr. All right, and then we're going to uh, your script should look like this um so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we're gonna go down one line now. <coughs> And then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna, we're gonna type in wait, and now we're gonna go local uh, save value one equals. And hold on, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna actually make um I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna do rebirths. Alright guys, so I just made a leader, uh, I just edited the leader stats, so now we have cash and rebirths, and I'm just going to make another one real quick, uh, cash give script, player dot leader Alright, so... I just edited the um, tool now, so the cash giver doesn't just give you cash, it gives you rebirths too, as you guys can see. So, back to the script, I'm sorry about that guys. So, your script should still look like this, right? And you're supposed to uh, t 
type in local save value one equals um player or plr my bad play plr dot leader stats dot cash dot value or no not dot value just play plr dot leader stats dot cash or whatever your currency is named we're gonna do local save value two equals plr dot leader stats dot uh rebirths and if you guys have a different name for your currency you're gonna type the name right here so player dot leader stats like cash or player dot leader stats dot rebirths or something like that so you're gonna type that in here then we're gonna do oh and uh, i forgot um guys we have to go over here to the weight we're gonna go down two lines two more lines and we're gonna do local key equals user underscore dot dot plr dot user id all right so now what we're gonna do now your script should look like this now next thing we're gonna do what we're going to do is we're going to go down another two lines and we are going to do local get saved equals ds colon get async key comma or yeah, yeah just key all right so we're gonna do local get save ds colon get async key and we're going to do get saved or er, we're gonna do if get saved then all right so your script should look like this now and we're gonna do um, if get saved then save value one dot value equals get saved one and then save value two dot value equals get saved two all right and now we're gonna do else <clears throat> sorry guys uh excuse me so we're gonna go down one more line and we're gonna put down else and then now your script should look like this so if you guys didn't see how I did that, I'll redo it again. So you're gonna go down one line, else, and then you're gonna click enter, and it should just automatically go to the side like that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to type in, <clears throat> we're gonna type in uh, local numbers for saving equals, and then we're gonna do this little weird bracket thing. We're gonna make a new table, and in this table we're gonna do save value one dot value comma save value two dot value all right then i'm going to do ds colon get async key comma um numbers for saving all right so now your script should look like this all right then we're going to go down two lines and we're going to do game dot players dot player removing colon connect function and we're gonna do player, not PLR, player this time, okay, guys? Like the actual player. And now what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, we're gonna copy over here. So local save value one dot equals player PLR to leader stats dot cash and stuff like that. So we're just gonna basically do the same thing here, except with the PLR, we're gonna replace that with player since we put player over here. So we're gonna do, we're just, I'm just gonna copy it and then now I'm gonna player player all right so now your script should look something like this all right oh what the heck okay all right so now your script should look like this now we're gonna go down and we're gonna do um this is this kind of gets some people i don't know i don't know if it gets some people or not but this usually gets me we're gonna do we're gonna type in ds colon set async okay not get async set async and then after that we're gonna put um quotation marks user underscore dot dot player dot user id comma save value one dot value comma save or er, no comma and then this little thing and now we're gonna do save value one dot value comma save value two dot value all right so now your script should look like this and now the script should actually work so this is what the script should look like 
if you guys um need a reference i'll or if you guys need like a kind of like a copy and paste thing i'll leave that in the description below anyways now the before we test this game out all right before we test the data store out i need you guys to go and in, into your game settings by going to home and going to game settings and then we're going to do security we're going to go to security and then we're going to go to enable studio access to api services we want to switch that on and we're going to click save if you guys do not switch that on your data store will not work okay so you need to switch that on now and uh we cannot and uh, another thing we cannot test data stores anymore in roblox studio because uh it doesn't work so we need to test uh our data store out in an actual uh, in an actual game so we're going to go over to file we're going to click publish to roblox all right and as soon as this little text comes down here and disappears we can close out a roblox studio and what we're going to do is we are going to uh go to our game so we're going to refresh the developer page we're going to basically go to our game and we're going to play it for to test the data store and how we can actually uh play our game when it's not public is basically you guys want to go to create and you want to go over to your game you want to click on the little like logo of your game it should take you here then you want to click on this blue back button all right and that should take you to your game all right now we're going to test the game out and the data store should work let's go ahead and test the game out cash giver so so we have the cash giver here so we're gonna click um we're gonna click keep on clicking I'm gonna use my auto clicker, but uh, yeah. So let's say we spent like seven hours getting sixteen thousand cash. All right, now we're gonna leave the game here. Then we're gonna refresh. You don't have to refresh, but I'm just gonna refresh for the purpose of this video. I'm gonna play the game again, and our stats should save. Yep, as you guys can see, it is successfully saved. So as you can see. We can keep on clicking. I'm gonna leave the game again, play it again, and it should save again. And we should still have seventeen thousand dollars or seventeen thousand cash. And yep, there it is. So that is basically how you guys can save your game using data stores. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you didn't, uh, if this did help you guys, please leave a like um, on this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you guys want more Roblox Studio video tutorials, um, you guys can leave your ideas down in the comments below, and I will try it, or I will try getting to them, and I will look at all the different um, ideas you guys want me to do, or videos you guys want me to do, and then I might do them. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically how you make the data store. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.